Hi, Boo. How are you feeling? This one got sick last night, huh? Oh, I think you have a little fever. Let's take your temperature and get you some medicine, okay? Okay. All right, taking a break for a second. Unfortunately, my phone was not on my body that whole time I was walking, but I am splurging for my breakfast today. <laughs> Gonna have a little waffle and some fruit. Um, and uh, good news, just about an hour ago, I got a call from uh, Kaylee's doctor, her orthopedic specialist, and they did approve her MRI, and we are getting that done tomorrow. I'm very excited for that, and I had to cancel her first, P first and second PT appointments because we need to wait for those results, and we won't get those results until next week. And so I'm hopeful that we're gonna get an answer from the MRI. Unlike with Abby, we didn't get any conclusive reason why she's in pain. We almost have a guarantee of getting results with Kaylee. Um, we know she can't bend it. We know she can't put pressure on it now. Um, there's something wrong with the ligament. There's something wrong with the cartilage and maybe even her meta, what did they say? Her meniscus might even be slightly stretched and torn. I will pick her up from school tomorrow and take her and go and figure out what is wrong with her leg. Luckily, we just get to go to the hospital here in town um, and not have to go clear over to Children's Hospital, um, which is a good thing. I can make a quick trip up from her high school and we'll get that. But we have a little sickie here at home today. She just suddenly went downhill last night. I went to a party at church and uh, came home and she had a scratchy throat and um, it was achy and had a, like cold symptoms. And so Jason luckily had given her some nighttime cold medicine. He was like, go get in bed. <laughs> she was, hopefully, I think she went to sleep around 10 o'clock. Um, it's hard when everyone else is awake um, to, for her to fall asleep. So got to sleep around 10 o'clock and slept in until 10 o'clock this morning. And right, it's not like 10. Yeah, she probably slept, slept in until 10. She's right there. So she's just gonna rest today, right? Go get yourself a waffle. It has protein powder in it, which is the only reason why I'm eating it, but I'm gonna go eat it while it's fresh. Go eat, boo, okay? All right, it is officially 1.20. I walked, let me see how many steps I walked. 10,137. Yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> if I bend over like that, you're gonna get more of a view than you need to get. Let's see if I can stack and make more of a view. I don't think I can get higher enough. Okay, that's better. I need to make a list of things we can do. So he's been bored. So he's been um, board cleaning. What have you done today? What? What have you done? I've blown out all the fans, like with the compressor. I uh, vacuumed. I've. I vacuumed too. Yes, you did. Good job. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. I cleaned out all the drains that were going slow. Sinks. I did the dishes, which I should have left for the kids. And I swept. Well, Ashley is sick today, to be fair. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I did this isn't I swept the kitchen. Okay. And I Oh, walked. I moved some laundry around. I have done laundry too. Yep. And I vacuumed out the little vent that was starting to get full in the dryer. Oh, you did? I've been meaning to for a long time, but finally got in We need to do there. the water one down below too. The gross one. I don't want to do that right now. I don't uh, have the stomach for that one right now. There's too much stuff down there that would get wet. Thanks. Yeah, we have too much laundry today to do. Um, you need to kind of have the space cleared out. Uh, but I was walking um, while watching the January 6th hearing live, um, which was, anyway, I'm not gonna give my two cents on my political stance here on this channel, but it was very interesting. But I wanted to, once I realized maybe what was going to happen on that, I just was determined to keep stepping and keep walking and keep going. Um, I was going to get off when I was at 5,000 steps, and then I was like, oh no, I'll get off at 7,000 steps. And once I hit 8,000 steps, I was like, well, this is almost over. I might as well go for 10, which I did. And then I showered Look and got ready. That. All that patri patriotic storming of the Capitol just made you, like, go for it. I mean, they keep doing this. You'll be like a fitness model or something. You're on a rotator, so that's a perfect little. <laughs> <laughs> You're on my little uh, center um, display thing. What do we need to do? I need to go to Marshalls. I need to think here. I could go to Lowe's and I need face Home wipes. Depot. Okay. You need to go to Lowe's. I need face wipes, mascara. I don't have to go today, but we're a little bit bored. 
Um, Ashley is going to lay down, take a nap. If she does not go to cheerleading tonight, she cannot go to her football game on Saturday. She's worried about that. Even though she's never had a day of absence since she started cheerleading, I'm gonna just convince, I'm not gonna convince her, I'm going to get her resting as much as we can today and at least have her go to support the team. Um, there is, they're starting to do, I don't know what the word, the terminology is, but they're starting to do lifts and she's the base for the lift. And so she wants to be able to support them to be able to do that routine. Um, and then if she physically can't do more than just that part of it, then I'll let her just kind of sit out and I'll sit with her and she'll just be there to support the team and learn and hear from the, the, the coaches, whatnot. Um, but she's just really worried about missing the game on Saturday. But this guy, I mean, I should just let him stay bored because sure. let me just rotate you around. This is perfect. Um, because he's getting a lot of stuff done. I appreciate it. Is your pumpkin pie gone? No, not yet. Not yet? No. How much is left? About two slices. <laughs> but the kids have been eating. <laughs> I bought it yesterday. I literally bought the pumpkin pie yesterday. I forgot to get it for him for his birthday. We ran out of time to go to Costco and get it. Um, so he's enjoyed his pumpkin pie. Um, so, should we go? Yeah. Okay, so we are back from running errands and I am gonna exercise. Dana is chilling there. Um, she's gonna be with me. But uh, the kids came home and uh, we're just trying to get kids running around. I think we have a few other things to do this evening. I'm gonna go help work on the spook alley. Uh, I'm trying to get Ashley to cheer, things like that. So that's what we're doing. Okay, I promise you I'm not wearing the same clothes over and over again. I just put this jacket on this afternoon. Um, I need to buy a jacket. It's one of my things to buy. But we are late getting her to cheer practice. Um, and in the mix of having too many cars, now I let Kaylee take my car instead of Jason's old one which we got back from his brother. His brother borrowed it for a week and a half. Um, in the midst of that, her cheer bag, you can't even see Ashley, her cheer bag is currently in my car with Kaylee, a whole city over, getting her nails done for homecoming this weekend. So Kaylee is done at that nail salon and is on her way back here and people are here. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe everyone's late coming from everything. So half the middle schoolers have like five sports doing. Yeah. So we um Kaylee's on her way here. I'll bring it in as soon as she gets here, okay? But your everything else you have. You had all your other stuff. We just need your palms. I didn't even dropped her off and Kaylee's like, hey we're here. I was like okay can you bring them in? And she's like uh remember the crutches? <laughs> For showing off the nails. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. And then Kaylee, what did you get? The your blue, your matte blue. Yeah. Yeah. Does that match your dress? Did you take the dress or? No, I just, I know what You just know. Oh, are we in, in reverse? <laughs> the car is like moving underneath me. <laughs> All right, well thanks for bringing this. Oh, is it in the way back? Oh, no, it's right here. It's just easier for you to All right. Thank you, thank you. Are you just going home? Yep. Okay, bye. Thank you. I also wonder how long that vitamin water has been in this bag. Probably just since yesterday or the day before, but we'll take it in anyway. All right, here is the situation while we hurry up and wait. <laughs> it's like we have to get here super fast. So my mood while we were out um, running errands, took a nosedive pretty quick and I'm not chatting about this to throw Jason under the bus by any means. This is not an old, this is an old conversation, old beef, old problem. But I wanted to chat about it here, I guess, because, I mean, I think a lot of my friends can relate to this, so I don't, it's a broken record to chat with them about it. And I always feel like if I'm talking to them about it, it does sound like I'm kind of throwing Jason under the bus. Um, and I know he'll watch this in the future and that's totally fine. I just, um, so 
a couple days ago, it literally was just a couple days ago, I told Jason what I wanted for Christmas. I won't say what it is here, it is what it is, but it was a big enough purchase that it's something that I wouldn't normally buy myself. I would normally have a conversation like I was doing with him. Whether it was for Christmas or not, I would have a conversation with him about whether we could get it. It's nothing like a new car by any means, but it was a big enough purchase that it was outside of our normal like monthly budget, right? I could save up extra money from YouTube and you know, a couple months worth of that for go putting that money into our Hawaii savings fund. I could do that and I could just buy this gift for myself. But we're late enough in the year that I felt like I could ask for that for Christmas. It's a good enough gift that I could ask for that. Had a conversation with him about it. It was a very small conversation, to be fair. Said that I wanted it, said I wanted it for Christmas. I'll do the research on what one I want and I can let you know. And that was the gist of the conversation. He's completely forgotten. He has no recollection of the conversation except he agreed to it. He literally remembers, yeah, I think we can make that happen. And I, the conversation I'm having with you guys is I just need to be, I feel seen from him quite well. Uh, he sees my effort. I see his effort. I see, he sees when I'm tired, like today, go ahead, lay down, take a nap. I'll finish the dishes. I'll work on a few things myself. Or he even like started cleaning and, and vacuuming out the, the fans. He didn't, I didn't ask him to do any of that. He just did it. Um, because he has time to. It's a day off that he normally doesn't have the day off for, and so he had time to do it. I feel seen often, especially coming home from a trip to Hawaii, and you know, we got this car and he let me take it tonight. I see, I feel seen, but sometimes I don't feel heard. And I know that's a big problem within relationships and marriage, is that one or the other, or both, don't feel heard. And, you know, it's something that we're constantly working on and I try to not get um, super upset if he doesn't remember conversations right off the bat because that is, to be fair, that is a strength of mine. I can remember conversations, I can remember details, I can remember stories and dates and prices and I can remember details for a very long time. And he can too, but not from conversations. <laughs> He can remember history and facts and data and business and car facts on Teslas. Um, he can remember facts um, and details in a completely different realm, which is totally fine. Except today, when he didn't remember that conversation, I felt like, and this isn't a confessional to him, this isn't a new conversation, um, I just felt like I felt guilty asking for what I asked for. Given that he just gave me a trip to Hawaii and that we just bought this car and we're, the kids are taken care of and they're in school and they're, they're doing great and we have possible surgeries coming up and we have um, surgeries. Two of our children will need surgeries in the next six months. I felt guilty asking for what I asked for, to be completely honest with you. I felt guilty asking for it, but it relates to my health and my motivation levels with my health, the gift that I was asking for. And that's where my guilt was outweighed by this motivation factor for myself. And I let myself choose myself for something, like a material thing that I could ask for and that I felt like would be a good thing for him to give me as well because he does support me in my health journey right now. Side note. Good note, I'm at my all time low. I dropped down one more number, one more pound. Um, I haven't seen that number on the scale for a very long time. So, pat on my own back. So, I don't want to have to retell him what I asked for, but what I have been working on for the past year or two is not getting upset the first time he doesn't remember details because he's not a detail guy when it comes to conversations. I have to just accept that and not change him, right? Um, that's my half of the, the communication and the relationship. Um, I'm patient second, third time sometimes because he does have a lot on his plate. He has a lot of information he has to regurgitate and remember and think about and, rem you know, whatever. 
I just felt like it was so fresh and so new that I was frustrated and I, I didn't blow up. I didn't get, I had one small conversation with him and I didn't tell him what it was. I didn't regurgitate the conversation, which normally I do, but I didn't this time. I am in a place right now where I feel like, I feel like I want to be petty. I feel like I want to just buy the gift for myself because I need him to understand what it feels like to not be heard and take away that chance of a gift that he could have gotten me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just being petty or I don't know. It's just something I'm thinking about and I'll probably be fine tomorrow. That's where my mood went to today and so that's why I put the camera down because I didn't need to bring you guys into all that. We went and did our errands and we came home and I, um, I've showered and cleaned up so I don't need to hop on the treadmill again. I'm probably tired from doing that. And so I took a nap and I looked at my phone and I got myself dinner and I made sure the other kids had dinner and then I left and I came here. And I don't know, it's not about the material item itself except that the material item meant something to my health. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. That's where I'm at. He, I know, enjoys driving this car and is going again to um, help set up the haunted forest at, his, at our friend's house tonight and I know he enjoys taking this car because all the guys like it and they like seeing him drive up with it and I was gonna let him take it because I know that that means something to him but I took it again I'm being petty I know I also have to sit here for an hour and a half waiting for cheer to be done and uh I'm gonna watch YouTube. I brought my passwords to log our car into YouTube and Netflix, and I'm gonna watch from his screen. I've got it right here, and I'm gonna, I br again, I brought my snacks, so I go home and go to bed instead of watching my shows, and I don't know, maybe I'll sleep this all this funky mood off. In general, like, I feel like I'm okay when I am not heard, I'm not, when he doesn't remember things. I can just, you know, okay, just be patient. He just came home from work. He worked for 12 hours. Maybe he didn't remember every little thing that the kids need to do tonight. That's fine. I'm in charge of the schedule like that. I can remember the details. I feel like in that way, I'm doing a good job of having a little bit more patience. I don't know why it just hit me differently. I just wanted to be honest with you. I did disappear today and that's why um, I didn't cry, I didn't get upset, I didn't yell at him. I just was very honest with him when I told him that I was hurt by him not remembering and I think that's fair to do. Especially in the moment so that the attitude just didn't like go unknown, right? Like that's not fair either. I could have just given attitude and ignored him for the rest of the day and he wouldn't have had any idea what he had done wrong. And it's not necessarily that he did something wrong, it's just I need to be heard as well as seen. So, that's my two cents. I do have my water. I am very, <laughs> very, very hydrated today, I will say. Very hydrated. I barely made it here to go to the bathroom <laughs> from driving from home where I went to the bathroom. I have a lot of water flushing through my system. I also want to try the whole apple cider vinegar. I saw a recipe yesterday. It's not a flush by any means. It won't make you flush, if you know what I mean. Quite literally, no pun intended. But it's apple cider vinegar, honey, cinnamon, and like a cup of water, warm water. And you drink that at night and that's a helpful, and I should probably talk to my sister about this because she's a gut specialist. It's to help your gut and your biome in your stomach um, have the right kind of bacteria in your stomach to help you um, be able to digest the correct way and digest good nutrients and flush out the bad ones. So that's what I'm gonna look into another day. Tomorrow we have Kaylee's MRI. Uh, Jason's going to go with me because he has a day off. They probably will do the same thing they did with Abby, only let one adult into the MRI room, but he still likes to go and support. Um, and then maybe, maybe I'll let him go in there. I don't know. Sometimes he doesn't go and be involved with like that kind of medical things. He's not queasy, but he gets a little bit, um, I went to the ER with her because he doesn't, he did not deal well with seeing her knee get put back into socket. He doesn't, he doesn't like medical stuff like that and gets a little bit antsy. So, and always has since the 
day our kids were all born, he's been like that. So he doesn't like to see them in pain. He doesn't like needles. He doesn't like blood. He doesn't like any of that stuff. And I'm just, I'm fine with it. So he'll go with us, but I'll likely go in with Kaylee to the MRI. But we won't get results until next week, which is unfortunate. And I cancel PT and we will pin, we will like just wait on that and find out what the results are. So I'm not signing off with you tonight. We'll see what else we do later on. But if, if not, if I just decide this is it, this is it. And if it's short, it's short because I'm just being real. Okay, we're back at home. A little bit of a snippet and a little bit of snack. And you're going to load these dishes really quick while you nibble on some pirate booty. You've showered and you're ready for bed, but you need to get to bed or you won't be going to that game. No, they're dirty. Oh, tough luck. You're clean. No, they're dirty. Right? They're dirty? I think so. And how do they look clean? This because it doesn't have much on Just it. Just because it got rinsed dirty. off. They're dirty. They're dirty. Um, do you want to help me put the stuff into the bean bag or... Just oh, she cuts apart little foamy things to go into our bean bags. She just likes to cut them up. I like putting it in too. Okay. Okay. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm.